Tom, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, really good, thanks. Looking forward to this Saturday night. So my first question is, of course, about your opponent. He's only had one loss in his career so far, and after that, he was very adamant that he wouldn't take a loss pretty much ever again. He, he worked on himself a lot after that fight. What makes you think that you're going to be the next person to beat him? Well, Gavin McDonnell, we train in the same gym, me and Gavin, obviously good friends. Uh, he kind of set the blueprint. So um, I just feel I've got every attribute, especially being a North Tall Oakland Southpaw as well, to uh, to take advantage of it and, and get the win against Gamal. Uh, obviously, I watched his last fight. I only really watched a couple of rounds of my opponents. I uh, don't get obsessed with it. And obviously, he fought a Southpaw last night into the, uh, what are you, the Italian, Italian champion, I yeah. think. And uh, obviously he was a different style, obviously come forward a lot smaller than me. Um, and just picked a few things up. So I just believe I've got to stick to obviously a very, very disciplined game plan on Saturday night. But I feel that uh, I've got more than enough in the tank in the Arsenal to uh, to get the win. Does that fill you with a bit of confidence knowing that Gavin has has been in the ring with him and beaten him and you've sort of got, I guess, like you said, the br- the blueprint? Yeah, to an extent, yeah, every fight is different because obviously every, every fight is different, every opponent's different. But um, Gav kind of laid it out and it kind of, what's the word I'm after? Uh, it kind of exposed him a bit in, in ways, you know, like I don't think he's got the best tank for a start, uh, the best engine. And i just seen enough there that night. Uh, obviously, I've been in with a lot of good kids. I've been in with his brother, Cal, mm-hmm. which is another thing as well. So it's not like I've not got the experience. It's not like it's something different that I've never come across before. Would that... Is that something that sort of motivates you, not wanting to lose to both brothers? It does, but more than that, it's what's at stake. There's a European title there at stake. Now, obviously, I've, I've boxed at about five different weight divisions. I picked titles up from the bottom, building up. The only thing above a European title is a world title, and I've done it like the old school way, the hard way, area titles, English, Commonwealth. So this is just the goal. That's there. I've been writ off again, as per usual, brought in at three weeks' notice, but I'm absolutely buzzing and looking forward to it. And you mentioned you don't think he has a great gas tank. Do you think uh, if this fight goes into the later rounds, it could it could get exciting? It could be a, a real barn burner? We could do, because I'm not very rarely in a dull fight, obviously, with, with some of my fights. And uh, Gamal, he can be quite aggressive and stuff. So, yeah, it could be able to be a very, very good fight. But um, just regardless what happens, just getting in that W, that's what means, obviously, that's what matters to me. Really looking forward to it, mate. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. If we go to Jonathan next, please. All right, Jason, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thanks. Um, You mentioned getting this fight at sort of short notice, three weeks. I assume yeah. you've been sort of training throughout this period, having not fought in ages. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been quite busy, obviously not in the, in the ring itself, but I've been active in the gym. Uh, obviously, I was Terry Harper's main sparring partner when she fought Jonas, South Coast sparring. Uh, I did a few weeks down with Michael Conlon, one of my former opponents. Um, not his last fight, the fight before that, which was like last year, but I've, I'm always in the gym anyway. So... Uh, yeah, I've kept myself busy, kept myself relatively fit, which is a good job because it's been dropped on me. But yeah, it's all good. What What did you make of his last uh, win, winning the European title? I did like I've, I've said to the to the guy previously. Um, I don't get obsessed with him much too much. I just watch a couple of rounds, which is what I think I watched the first round and one halfway through. And I might watch one of the later rounds as well just to see how we did and what he was throwing and stuff. So I just watch what they're doing. I don't become too obsessed with it. Well, like when I fought Michael Conlon, I watched two rounds and that were it all the way through camp. I've got every faith in, obviously, uh, my trainers in Ray and Steffi. Um, so we'll come in a game plan, see what we believe will work, and that's what down to me to execute it. Did you think an opportunity like this would sort of arise during this period where you've not had fights? Yeah, because I've been offered a couple of fights already throughout this. If you're a championship-level fighter, I believe you've always got a, a chance of, of fighting. I got offered a fight on AJ Bill, but it didn't make sense. There were no talent line. It was, I think it was Kez Ashfax, so it's like he'd it just come up for a defeat. It didn't make sense for me. Obviously, I've, I'm glad I've waited out because this is the fight. This is the opportunity. There's a big title at stake. Obviously, there's history there with me and the Yafis as well. So, uh, I'm glad I've I've been patient and waited waited out for it. I know. I know you mentioned sort of uh, you know you lost his brother in, to the last uh, injury, but are we reading too much into that? Do you even think about that? No, no, not really. Because back in 2015, not only that, I'm a five foot nine southpaw and. Uh, I've never been afraid to take a risk and I'll never change. 
that's why I've stepped in this for three weeks' notice as well, which is nothing new when it comes to notice. But uh, I didn't do myself no favours back then. Obviously, Carl, world class fighter, former world champion, so he's been there and done it. But me getting down to super flyweight, I took a lot out of that tank, and that weren't my best performance on the night. Obviously, taking nothing away from him because he's a he's an high level fighter. But super bantamweight is my weight division. I've never been beat at super bantamweight. Uh, a lot of opportunities have come at featherweight. Obviously, we may win the Commonwealth title there. So, like I've said, I don't shy away from fights. I'll take it if it makes sense, and that's that. But Super Bantamweight is my division, and I'm very, very confident in getting job done Saturday night. And for you, if you win this fight, you mentioned the next step would be a world title level fight. How, yeah. how big of a moment, not only in your career, is this, but in sort of your life in general, if you to win on Saturday? Yeah, everything. Because, well, like I've said there, it's not. You take one fight at a time, so obviously I'm looking at Gamaya fight, he, he's the only focus I've got. But beyond that, it is world level, isn't it, that's above it. And I've started from bottom, I've, I've uh, you know, no big promoter behind me, it's just me grafting with my team. Um, we've just hustled and grafted for years and years. I've even started with by winning Masters titles. And you know you're starting from bottom if you win an, an international Masters title. Area title, English, Commonwealth, so I'd say European Saturday. I've done it the old school rule, times of the hard rule. There's no like Mickey Mouse titles here. It's the proper, it's the proper rule. It's hard, hard to win. So it means everything to me. And uh, like I say, I'm just fully focused on getting that job done Saturday night. Best of luck Saturday, Jason. Yeah, thank you very much.